Akiza's limited Easter Bunny sleeves are up from Amanda La Palm. If you guys are interested in picking these up, enter code MCOL40 and you will get the chance to save on your purchase. I know this is a little bit extra for sleeves, but people do li love the ever living crap out of Akiza and Melfi. So we've definitely reached the pinnacle of Yu Gi Oh! accessories. Alright guys, let's dig on into Marco Watch. Remember, MCOL40 will save you on any purchase on Amanda La Palm's website. Happy Sunday, baby! Smash your really crap on that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome Marco Watches. So, somebody bought out Coliseum Cage of the Gladiator Beast, and uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on with this here. Uh, place one counter on this card each time a Gladiator Beast monster is special summoned from either player's deck. All Gladiator Beast monsters gain 100 attack and defense for each counter on this card. This card will be destroyed by, uh, by an effect. You discard one <laughs> Colosseum Cage of the Gladiator Beast to prevent this card from being destroyed. Um, this card is absolutely horrible, but I guess Gladiator Beast Assault Effect, or yeah, Gladiator's Assault Effect? Still can't believe somebody actually bought this out. By the way, this was already a $4 card, evidently. Um, all right, sure. So evidently, Rank of Magic Soul Shape Force also launched to the moon recently with the whole advent of the Time Thief uh, bird deck coming out here soon. Of course. I mean, this card literally makes a free infinity for you. So at this point in time, this is uh, kind of interesting. See that this shot up, three listings all available at 20, 20, 24, 70. Ugh, it hurts so much. What's going on in uh, Wing Raiders though? So a sealed box of Wing Raiders is, uh, well, 255 with that hot $11 shipping and $300. Uh, they had a market price at uh, 66 ages ago. Uh, Tribute Lani assists from this set. Obviously, the reprints around the corner here. You'll see the uh, value pushing down on this, which it has. Fog Blades, still actually holding at 11 bucks in the set. Four Strix, still about 10 bucks. Super Quantum Red Layers, a eh, lot of heavy play here, actually. What's going on with that? Near Mints are about 10 to $11 from this set. Understandable, I guess. Um, what else we got here? Original break sword, kind of cheap actually. Nine bucks isn't bad. Single booster bags in the set are like five, six bucks. Braid Raptors call. Oh, look at this, five plus shipping. Uh, Diamond Crab King. You guys remember when these were expensive recently? Uh, these have pushed back down to the five dollar mark, which is a lot more acceptable. Great Magnus. Uh, once again, a lot of heavy play copies here. Also, only eleven listings for this, by the way. Uh, wow, Chow's got a lot of them. That's a big line there. Uh, but yeah, only 11 listings, by the way. Ancient Cloak from the set's 5 bucks. Swallow's Nest. Ah, uh, yes, the old expensive card. $3. Satellite Cannon. Hey, look at this. $4. Hmm, I honestly think the Wing Raiders is like the super, super old value set. Man, look at this. Rare Grand Pulse is 2 bucks. All this super quantum stuff? Did I blink and this stuff is suddenly a gold mine? Like two dollars, dollars. Hmm. Super quantums are becoming the new praying kids. Gaga got cowboy from this set is a dollar for a rare. Think about that. Rank up magic doom double force. Hey, look at this dollars. Like what is going on here? Dollars. This set is literally penny stong heaven. All right, with like super heavy top ended cards. All right, so Wing Raiders has actually just revolutionized itself as one of the craziest sets in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! history for value. Man, that's, uh, man, the fact that this is $20 satellite is worth so much. Like, ah, uh, I don't get it, man. Still can't believe this is four bucks. Only 16 listings, by the way. Uh, to the moon, Ancient Gear Fortress. Ah, oh, man, yeah. Look at that. that. That's it. You can get Italian copies for 12 bucks, And you got this hot $17 price tag all the way on down here to near mints $18 for this stupid card. By the way, this was the same card that was from the structure deck with Max C. These sealed structure decks? $45. Holy crap, I need to go sell these. Max C's are 12 bucks. That doesn't surprise me. Machine dupes from this, $2. Pathfinders are almost dollars. Engine gearbox rambling around the $250 mark. Wyvern at dollars. Huh. 
Don't you love it when a single common in a structure deck rockets this high? This is bonkers, man. All right. Hey, look. I just wanted to show this because uh, I have been keeping a close eye on Torin Scales. Because uh, this is the card that will start doing stuff if it if it wants to. We're at 21. There's an 1899 one, uh, which might be gone. We're almost at 200 right now for the Starlights. These are, in fact, moving up right now. Doesn't really surprise me all that much, all things considered. Like, this was the undervalued Starlight of its time. Oh, uh, let's see here. Code of Ancient Ruins. So, we, we've all talked about this card throughout the week. We're like, oh boy, aliens. Uh, I still, I just wanted to show this to, like, re-solidify the fact that these are actually holding right now at this. <laughs> Look at this. We're holding at 19 to $20. This is a, a near mint copy is in the $30 range. First edition's at $36. And this stupid card is holding right now. I think that's the thing that amazes me most about this is just how nuts it is to see like a week later, like the set is just streamlining and still going. I like, it's nuts. Magical Meltdown, this also caught my attention. My friend came over and bought three for me recently. And uh, he was he was like mind boggled. I, so was I. I didn't realize these had actually touched like the eleven dollar mark for meltdowns for seeker errors. I don't think a lot of people have, but uh, normal summon Alistair's back at it again. So I guess it shouldn't surprise me. Uh, invocations. Uh, so anyway, the Altis rocketed even further to the moon. Also shouldn't shock anybody. One fifties. Thirty nine dollars on them hot seeker errors. Supers from Valhall are $35. Fusion Enforcers are at $32, or $42. So, all copies of Invocation all across all boards here are insanity right now. All right. So, uh, this is the, uh-oh, uh stuff is starting to happen. Uh, you need to keep an eye on these alties because really weird things are happening to the bottom end of these. So we're at $52 for the alties right now, which isn't bad. All right, and then you come on down here to the secrets. Hey, you see 20 bucks. You're like, okay. Then we start getting down here into the lower end of the uh, spectrum here. These are 10 bucks, And then every other single copy of these, keep this in mind, these are starting to go up. All right, if you're somebody that's wanted to pick up Toon Kingdoms for a little while, um, keep in mind the quantities are kind of starting to disappear on these. I wouldn't be shocked to see if these all start to head up. I mean, we're already at seven bucks, like at lowest, uh, but keep an eye on these, all right? So there is really weird movements happening across all four of these, all right? So don't be shocked if someday you're like, oh man, Toon Kingdom's a $100 ulti, and then you see these all pushing up like $15, $16. Because I have a feeling it's coming. Um, did you guys know that Alan Burchin's still a forty dollar card? I hate it. Uh, Kitchen's still at twenty eight bucks. Hospitalities are still twenty nines. Mardals are still twelves. Please reprint this set. Thanks, Konami. Uh, Mister Divine Neos. Why am I here? I know Divine. I trust me. First editions. Yikes, 200, bleh, 345, Ugh, that's garbage, all right. Power Bond alt, <laughs> it's, it's, oh man, yeah, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mod play for two, light play for 280, 285, uh, 350, you get a German here for 200, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, that's, that's the price, that's what you're dealing with right now, yeah. Crystal Wing? Oh, look at this. 15 bucks. Huh. What are first at Crystal Wings going for today? I bet it's something ridiculous. 18 bucks, I see. Uh, 24 for first dead. All right. Uh, oh, hey, look at this. Uh, adding this stuff starting to go back up. Oh, boy. We are two months away from the advent of the new support. So, look at this. $22. $22. One listing left. Hmm. Uh, no movements from Picari though. Picari's still ten bucks. A uh, Chi is still at eight bucks. Kind of something to keep an eye on, I guess, as time goes on. Uh, John talked about this yesterday, but this is hilarious. Um, I'll just buy unlimited bookmarks because this is ridiculous. Thirty dollars for this, for no reason, by the way. I don't get it. Uh, goes from the past. Lol. Uh, look at this. Oh man. 
I love the the prices of these boxes. Three packs, twenty eight bucks by the way. Thirty bucks down here. Kind of curious to see how all these will go. All right, single booster pack. Hmm, ten dollars. Can't wait. Hey, look, they at least got the pre sale slots allocated. All right, and then uh, evidently this speed duel stuff's going nuts. John talked about the rota. Uh, evidently breaker shot up to like double overnight. Yeah, look, six bucks. We're up to sixteen. Hmm. Speed duel stuff, ladies and gentlemen, from this wonderful box. Doesn't surprise me. Air Knights are up to 17 bucks. I mean, it's goat support. Like, what do you expect? Even the gods look like they're starting to gain a little bit of value here. Hmm. Cheap obelisk, by the way. Um, I would just keep an eye on this stuff. It doesn't surprise me that the cage is being rattled for this. All right. So how long the stuff will remain cheap, I don't have an answer for you. Um, if you're debating on getting something, I'd get it now because you're too late to get breakers and air knights, unfortunately. So... Yeah, guys, if you want to pick up anything off of Mandela Palm's site, please use discount code MCO40 to save on your purchase. And if you guys are shopping on TCG Player, please use my link, Little Diamond Heart, to help support the channel. And I'll see your bit of faces back here later on in the day for some more cool, awesome content. Peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well... I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Van Cole 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcole 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolegames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.